Also on the 5th, we have Golden Star, the Galactic Tournament. And this plays 2 to 4 players. It takes about 45 to 90 minutes to play. And this is a re-implementation of a previous campaign that got cancelled. And it's too bad that it got cancelled because this game looks like a lot of fun. It was definitely one that I was interested in backing. But for whatever reason, the publisher decided to pull it down, retheme it, and make some tweaks. And they are re-releasing it this week. And this is a very combat-heavy game where players are going to be taking on the roles of two different alien factions with their own unique and asymmetrical powers. And I couldn't find too much info on the changes to this game, so I'll just tell you a little bit how the original played. But just keep in mind that some of the verbiage and terminology might have changed. But in the original gameplay design, players were flying around the galaxy, trying to colonize different planets, and engaging in a lot of combat with their opponents. Combat in this game plays very similar to Cosmic Encounter. Strength can be added to one side of a conflict based on the adjacent colonies, spaceships, and neutral players that are in their surrounding areas if those neutral players decide that they also want to contribute to the battle. At that point, players both simultaneously reveal their attack cards, and that's going to add to the strength as well, and then they can play any support cards to try and augment or alter their attacks. And the way that players tried to win the original game is that at any point they could try to complete the final fusion on their turn. And if they were undefeated until their following turn, they would have completed their final fusion and won the game. The problem with that is it also puts a giant target on your back. So if you're in the state of trying to complete your final fusion, all the other players are trying to take you out. So doing this too early means you're probably going to fail and you're going to be trying to build up your defense. That gives you better odds of completing that final fusion. Of course, in this retheme, they may have tweaked that or possibly even removed it altogether, but they would have definitely changed some of the terminology there. Throughout the game, players can also buy new traits and technologies, and they can also use location special actions to their advantage. And if this one sounds interesting to you, definitely follow along before it starts because it'll get you the Unlikely Alliance mini expansion. That's going to allow you to form alliances in the game and comes with 30 unique cards. 